right, go. Period structures. Excuse you. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, we get it, we get it. A formal unit made up of two or sometimes more phrases. Phrases form. Phrases form antecedent consequent relationships. Antecedent phrases weaker cadence feels open. Consequent phrase stronger cadence feels close. Oh, my face. Look at this man's whole notes. That's an oval dude. No, it's not, dude. Is it this is A and this is A prime and then this is no. B? No, no, no. I think it's A and B and A prime. And Isn't it just two or is it three? No, there's... this is different than this one. Okay, but like if... Oh, yeah, they're different, but you could just call all of this one No, but sentence. why would you do that? No. I'm gonna go find somebody who actually knows how to do this. Oh my god. No luck? Robert. Robert, our savior. <laughs> uh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> Wait, why did you exclude like the first two notes? I'm racist, okay. Okay, Robert, real quick. Is it just me or are Victor's whole notes f***ing atrocious? Then... It's just your, your head sticking out of the piano. It no, looks really no, weird. No. Wait, why would that be B if it's exactly the same as the first two measures? No, no, no. So A and A prime. These two are A and A prime. The bottom is A prime. Why is it A prime though if they're exact? That's why. That's why. You That's don't have two A's. Exact. Are you sure? You don't have two A's. No, A prime is supposed to be if it's like slightly altered, isn't it? No. No, it's just the second time you play A, right? Yeah. So for a parallel, for parallel interrupted periods, think about this. You want to go to Waterburger, get yourself a nice triple meat, triple cheese, triple bacon burger. But then, oh my goodness, I forgot my wallet, gotta go back home. Ah, I have my wallet, now I'm going back to Waterburger. Wait, you didn't take your front pocket's last one, took your back pocket. It's an example, you're a man. So, I get it, I get it. It's interrupted because it was going somewhere and then it just ended on the fifth and then it repeated and this time it ended on a proper PAC. Almost like Pac. You know they have Pac-Man? Why don't we have Yak-Man? Yak-Man. Imperfect authentic kids? It's a theory joke, Victor! <laughs> oh my god, that's a freaking huge iPad, dude. Uh, four to eight um, measures. This would be the antecedent because it antecedes the second one. This is the fun comes after. That. So this is like a response to this one. It is parallel because they are both similar. It is interrupted because it, it, the first phrase ends on a half cadence. <sighs> oh, sorry. Interrupted because it ends on a half cadence, just like I was. Really yeah. And it's a period piece because. And it's on a perfect authentic cadence. And it's on a perfect authentic cadence. Is there anything else to this? Oh yeah, A and A prime. Happy Please birthday, Manny. Play happy birthday, Manny. Do it. In the key of what was it? E. I think we we're in E flat major. E? Why did you choose E flat? I don't know, cause I said nobody chooses E flat, so yeah, we chose yeah, like the weirdest key. He's like, it's beyond me. I can't. Five seven, but but don't. Five seven, do 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 do
are similar. First two measures are identical. The only difference between this one is that it gets to the five earlier and uh, make it better than the five seven. That's a five six five. It's an inversion. You know what, bro? It's still a seven chord. And then it ends with a couple of things, therefore making it a period, right? Bye. Oh my god! <laughs>